I want to begin by saying that it's been an honor and a privilege to work with such an amazing group of women who are so committed and work so hard. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> well, I, I also want to say, um, you guys have all shown a lot of commitment, but unfortunately some of you actually have shown a little more than others. And so Billy and I, I've got anxiety today, can you tell? <laughs> but Billy and I actually met with the executive producer, uh, Dr. Tom Dieters, as well as with uh, Merrill, and we met with Dr. Jessica to evaluate how you've all been doing on the program. Yeah, and we know it hasn't been an easy road. It's been very challenging. Uh, but in life, you know, the challenges are what shape us, and it comes down to your decisions, and this is only going to make you all stronger. Yep, you know, it's through adversity, of course, that you have the opportunity to, um, to step up and, you know, grow as a person. But unfortunately, um, you knew part of the show was that we have to eliminate two people. And um, unfortunately, that day is today. <laughs> and so that's why I have anxiety, because we love all of you so, so much. Um, but it's, it's true that um, some of you have been, you know, a little more, more committed than others. And um, we... I don't know. Help me, Billy. <laughs> I want to run away. I want to run away. <laughs> I'll run away with you. Right <laughs> but, um, but also, um, even though we have to eliminate two of you, I will say that um, an eleventh-hour decision from one of you actually changed the direction we were planning to go. Um, Debbie actually came to the studio, and she had some unexpected news for us. Debbie, I'd like to tell you personally a few things. Girls, you know that I don't believe that there's a single one of us that deserve to go away from this show. But you also know that throughout the last few weeks, the time demands on my life have been caused me frustration. And I have found myself wishing in a lot of ways that I could continue this journey on my own. So because I couldn't live with myself, if one of you went home and I didn't, and, I, and because nobody deserved to leave, I'm going to step away from the show. And I'm going to be one of the people that go home. But I want you to know that I've made this with just a completely full heart. And it has been such a life-changing experience to be friends and to work out and begin this journey with all of you. Jamie and Billy have pledged to be very supportive for me and effective on Tuesday. And we'll be there for you too. I will, I know you will. Effective on Tuesday, I will have my own program, not show program. I will be working out with a trainer through BB3. I am keeping my work with Meryl and Dr. Jessica going along. And I'll be cheering every one of you from the sidelines because I have fallen in love with all of you. But I support you, and I hope that you make the absolute most of this opportunity. And I'll be back to see everybody around reveal time. And even in between, Billy lets me come. Of course, <laughs> mm -hmm. always. Billy and Jamie, you're such amazing inspirations to all of us. <laughs> <laughs> and I just can't imagine my life not having met both of you and, and Thanks, having you as inspiration and I'm so thankful to the whole Mission Makeover team and what this show Same stands time. for. I in no way, shape or form consider myself a quitter. I am here for every one of you and I can't wait to rock our new body <laughs> together <laughs> at the end. So don't give up on this opportunity, anybody. I'll be cheering on for all of you. Wow. We love you, Debbie. Yeah, we do. We love you. We you were not a quitter. We don't see it. We don't see it that way. Yeah, we we do believe in you. We can't wait to see you know what you do look like at the end. And Thank you. Better, you. you better stay in touch. I know you're going to yeah. be working out there. I am. I'm be three times a week at BB3. Yeah. All right. Awesome. So. Okay. It's going to be great to see you. It results. is. Mwah. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. All right. Um, I'm not at liberty to say whether or not Debbie was one of the ones that we were planning to eliminate. And, but one of the reasons I have so much anxiety is Billy and I don't want to eliminate anybody. We really are having a hard time with this because we believe in all of you. We love, we love all of you. We know you all have it in you for sure. But unfortunately, you know, we still have one to eliminate. We have to do it. It's part of the show. So, um, 
I don't know. You want to take it? It's yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, That's what I get for being the bad cop. Uh, all of you came in with like incredible enthusiasm. You know, but one of you seemed to, based off the measurements and statistics, to not be where everyone else was at. And the nutrition was very challenging, and the time demands and so forth. And doc maybe not so open with Dr. Jessica. Um, ah, that sucks. Um, and so for that reason, reason uh, Patricia, you're, you're ah, Actually, it's funny because when I kept telling you I wanted to talk to you, yeah. I was gonna do what she did because of the baby and I'm telling you, and my tears are because I'm gonna miss the girls yeah. so much. Um, we've all bonded and it's been so awesome. But I was actually gonna talk to you in private for the past couple of days to tell you just like she did. It's been difficult with the baby and the family and everything and even getting here sometimes on time. Uh, last minute I have to change a diaper or something. So I was kind of praying for it. So, you know, God hears my prayers. I want to continue, of course, and I will continue. And that's another reason I wanted to talk to you because I wanted to hopefully be able to count on your advice in terms of, you know, what's going to work best for me on my own. So I think that it worked out. <laughs> and so don't feel bad because um, I was actually praying to God. I was like, oh God, I don't want to quit, but I, I don't think I can continue with the rest of the group. It wouldn't be fair. Like she, she said, if I was not eliminated because Either way, I think I would have had to, at one point or another, say, I can't continue. And so, it was a, a, a godsend. <laughs> well, I it think, really was. I think, Patricia, that's what we sensed, is that your heart was at home. And um, being a mom, I'm getting choked up. I think it's our pregnancy hormones. I still have them, too. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, being a mom, you we, we've seen you with your family. You are so passionate and such a loving mom, and um, which is awesome to see. But we we really were hoping that you'd be that invested in, in this process, too. Yeah. Um, and, and I hope you realize it's important to do that at some point because it's really good for you and for your family. And so um, it's not a selfish thing to take care of yourself. I know it's really hard to juggle everything right now, um, but um, when you when you get a chance to, to really focus, I hope you can uh, you can see that you deserve this and you need it. Um, I know your family history, and I know you have some fears about you know the same fate as your mom or your grandmother, and um, and of course you know I, I don't think that's ever going to be your fate because you're no, you're here, you. you're here, yeah. you've already made that decision. I'm going to make my life better. <laughs> And, um, and I just want you to know we're here for you no matter what. Thank you. We're here for all of you no matter Thank what. You. Long after the show, you know, whatever you need. Um, mm -hmm. I know it takes, it's harder for some people to say, hey, I, I you know, you resist to put it, you know, or make it part of your lifestyle. But, um, but where there's a will, there's a way. So don't lose that will. No, I, I do plan to continue on it. Probably not at the same pace as everybody else on the show. But I'm kind of glad. I mean, I'm very glad actually that it worked out this way because I've been trying to get Billy on the side and on the other day I told um, uh, God, I went blank uh, Laurel. Just, Laurel I was trying to uh, get a hold of Laurel and, and, and you know talk to her because I was hoping to do it before the eliminations but I put it so much into prayer I think God put it in in, 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 in your eyes to see that it's a little more difficult for me in terms of timing and re you know, placing and all that, especially because of the baby. At times I wish I could just bring her to the workouts and, you know, just have her sitting on the sidelines and yeah. stuff because I'm here and my heart is with everybody here. But at the same time, my mind is on, sure. you know, the house, the kids, the baby, you know, and all that. So it's, you know, and it, it worked out really. Well, compliance with anything, you know, anything, it's it's all about when you're ready. Yeah. And a lot of times it's in your own time and yeah. we sense that you, you weren't maybe ready, and we did not want to get rid of you. Trust me, we were <laughs> we were not feeling good about this. But um, but we're. I mean, I'm glad you were praying about it, and I'm glad you feel really at was. peace with the with it. But I really hope that you'll stay committed, and I that we'll see you, and you will see you changed. By mm -hmm. the end of the show, you guys will see me different mm -hmm. for sure. All right. Well, well, we want to hug you, and you know, and love on you. So Let please. Me go hug, you <laughs> hug you both. Ah. Uh, we're done, we're done on the show. We really have, so. Yeah. Oh, gosh. You're not getting rid of me. No, for sure. I know where you live. No, I was going to say, you're not getting rid of me because <laughs> I won't be back. Right. <laughs> Ladies, you can say bye Thank to Trish, too, and, and to Debbie if you'd like. Oh, okay, good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
So ladies, I gotta say, you are the best group ever. Love you guys. And um, let's finish this the way we always do. Let's bring it in. A little love here. All right. <laughs> so this isn't an end. This is a beginning. That's right. We're not living in fear, we're living in faith and courage. Amen. Because you're not lambs. We're lions. lions. On three, let's roar. One, One two, two, three. Roar!